welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video we will be exploring one of the biggest, one of the best and one of the most loved chicken fast food restaurants in America. Give it up for Chick-fil-A. Chick for the chicken, filla for the fillet and A for the A great chicken. Chick-fil-A is one of the most popular chicken restaurants in the United States. It has been voted seven years running as one of the best chicken places in America. We don't have Chick-fil-A in the UK. Why don't we have Chick-fil-A in the UK? Because Americans hate British people. I'm joking. Recently, we've actually had Popeyes open in London, but Chick-fil-A may be next. Chick-fil-A prides itself for its exquisite and I mean exquisite customer service. When you go to Chick-fil-A, you feel loved, you feel wanted, and you feel the great A in Chick-fil-A. When I go to Chick-fil-A, I feel nothing because we don't have Chick-fil-A in the UK. And I wish we did, you know. I genuinely do wish we did because they have 100% chicken. 100% chicken, shout out to Sam for their 100% pigeon. I'm joking guys, they're all birds at the end of the day. I saw a video online and it showed how hard working and how amazing Chick-fil-A workers are. All right, welcome to Chick-fil-A. Can I get a name for the order? Tyrone. Okay, Tyrone, well, you know what? Actually, let me have you scoot up just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Only because his car's in the back. No Only problem, no car's problem. In the back. I'm sorry about that. No uh, problem. Give Tyrone your order whenever you're ready. Uh, can I get a spicy chicken sandwich? Spicy chicken no sandwich? pickles on that sandwich, mm -hmm. please. No pickles on the sandwich? And can, can, I get a, can I get a large fry, please? A large fry, what drink? Uh, can I get a strawberry lemonade? Why are you making a meal? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, would you like to be sauce with that? Barbecue sauce, please. Barbecue? Yeah. Are you talking to that seven? Thank you. My pleasure, the first one. Imagine working that hard, like you don't even need to attend the gym. Personally, one thing that I love about Chick-fil-A, even though I've never tried any of their food, is their motto. Food is essential to life, so make it good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My food is burning, but I'm going to still make it good. Chicago Town Pizza. Chick-fil-A uses 100% chicken that are raised in barns and not cages. They also use peanut oil to fry that chicken. And they use pickle juice to marinate that chicken. Together, quality.
created a magnificent like feast okay let me show you i think this is a bit warm this is my macaroni and cheese this is my chicken with my biscuits <laughs> these are this is supposed to be the fried chicken this is the grilled chicken okay i can't show you uh but one of them is here i literally just like melted one of them this is it this is a bit burnt but i like it crunchy these are my waffle fries I made, I did make some nuggets. These are some of the nuggets that I made. I've never drank pickle juice in my life and I've never tried pickles in my life, but I'm gonna give it a go, Priscilla. Mmm, it tastes like sour leaves. Like that, I don't know how to describe that. I do like a bit of ketchup. To make the Chick-fil-A sauce, we need some mayo. Two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Make sure you guys are careful with the barbecue sauce because I believe some of them have red wine in it. One tablespoon of yellow mustard. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Call this from Tesco's by the way. Just Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of honey. One, two. And some lemon. A little bit of lemon. Like this. And then we'll just make... Ooh. The next thing we're going to make is some honey mustard for the nuggets. Some mayo. Yellow mustard. Dijon mustard, some brown sugar. Though there aren't any measurements for this, I don't know why I haven't put measurements. You can see the difference, you know, in the, in the colours. I was going to make some Polynesian, Poly, Poly, Polynesian sauce, but um, I don't have Catalina dressing. I don't know where to buy that from. It's one of the nuggets and we're going to just dip it in. Do you know what that tastes like? Have you ever bought a brand new cupboard before? Like a brand new cupboard, yeah? The smell inside a brand new cupboard, it tastes like. It tastes like wood. Chicken, we're gonna try this one. Oh, this one's better. I think it's a mustard, I don't like mustard. My chicken strips, okay. These are my nuggets. These are my biscuits. So what they do is, yeah, they get a biscuit, they break it open, right? And then they put some like chicken biscuit so it's literally like, like that, and then some in there. Actually, like a very sweet, like crumbly biscuit. Like that, like they resemble scones to me. I don't know why, but these are really nice and sweet to make. Let's try the burgers. This is the fried burger, cheese. And that's it. Guys, the chicken is really good. I think I was a bit cautious with, with the salt, but the cheese kind of helps, you know. This, the chicken is really good. Mmm, I like that. Now we try the grilled. Okay, that's such a really nice, and the bread is really nice. I got the bread from Sainsbury's, pound for two. Because if I got four, I wouldn't finish it. Mmm. Okay, okay, hear me out. When I marinated, well, I never really marinated, but you know when I rubbed the mayo on the chicken, on the grilled chicken, I was super skeptical because I've never seen that before in my life. And then I found out that it helps with the, um, with the spices when you're fry, when you're grilling it. When I tell you, does, does this, guys, just try it out, try it out. The grilled burger tastes really good, you know, like proper flavoursome. Mmm. I wish I never added, um, cheese. I was supposed to make some lemonade, frosted lemonade, sweet tea, and cookies and cream milkshake. I've had no time to do that. I do have some peach iced tea. This is supposed to be the chips. Mm. I like these. They're, they're, they're lightly seasoned. Smell that. Mmm. Sensational. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Oh, and there's a kick of chili in there too. Fancy me surprising myself. <laughs> mm -mm. You're probably wondering why I've got this. Okay. 
In the summer, Chick-fil-A makes a peach milkshake and I've never tried peach milkshake. Like I've tried lemonade, I've tried everything else, but I've never tried a peach milkshake. So today we are going to attempt to make a peach milkshake. I got the one inside the juice because why not have it flavoursome? Vanilla ice cream. We're gonna give this a go. I hope this tastes good. Grab a bit of this. I love these. No, I can add a bit of syrup. Just a little bit. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, that's so nasty. No, I don't want to add milk, that's why. You'd like these, don't you? Where's the lid? Okay, there's no lid. It tastes like really sweet vanilla milkshake. I don't like it. I know this looks a bit gross, yeah, but I don't think it is. I feel like this is a delicacy. This feels like a dessert to me. made some honey and butter syrup. I saw this online but then I was just like, I was just, I was just so obsessed with it, like, my fingers, my fingers, my fingers. Just so mm. I saw this online and ever since I saw it online, I've just, I've loved honey butter and it's salted butter by the way. Like honey mustard is a no-go, but honey barbecue, honey, honey barbecue, yeah, mmm, let's go down. There's a couple of things that I was supposed to make, but I never had time to make it, I'm so sorry guys. This has been fun. Chick-fil-A, sorry about that. I don't know why, but whenever I say it, like when the A is, there's like, you have to do like some sort of a dance. Like the biscuit and the chicken thing, like that whole together thing, it does taste nice, but it isn't like, I'm not gonna lie to you, it isn't a bit of me. I can have this with a cup of tea. It tastes like a sweet scone. I can have this with a cup of tea. Not too sure about the chicken, I feel like it makes it dry. Like it makes my mouth like super dry and like blandy. But the burgers were sensational. In terms of the milkshake, the milkshake was banging. That was banging, that peach milkshake. I'm making that this summertime. Summertime. Uh uh. I wish I got some hash browns, but I couldn't find the recipe for hash browns, so I couldn't make that. Mac and cheese was banging. Like that mac and cheese recipe, guys. If you guys want to try it, like a basic, simple mac and cheese recipe, that's your mac and cheese. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Let's get this video to like 3,000 likes, and I might do another American fast food joint. I don't know which one I'll do. Not McDonald's. That's never going to happen. Uh, maybe Popeyes. Where's another place? Um.